Hello everyone, this is Ange. So in this video, I'm actually going to do something kind of different. Uh, I'm doing an unboxing video of the collector's edition of Magikoi Love Me Seriously, officially translated by Jast. This is like a really quick introduction. Magikoi is my personal favorite visual novel ever, which I'll talk more about later. And in about Anime Expo 2019, Jast announced pre-orders for this limited edition version that comes with a lot of different goodies, which I'll show once I unbox the video. And I pre-ordered it day one immediately. And the official Jask version online came, or was available really late 20, 2020, end of December, I believe. So if you want to buy that, be sure to visit uh, Jask's website because Magic was a great VN. But I'll just get right into uh, the unboxing here. So I just uh, already started I unboxed the, the the actual box part so to hide my name and such. So as you can see, this is the box. By it has all the main five girls on it. it has Jack's logo and everything. Just want to pick. Looks like there's nothing in the back. So let's just open it. Oh, let me put it, let me put it here. It's, uh, a little. Funny way to do it. But, uh, all right, how do I open it? Do I open it from the down? Yes, it's okay. Apologies for any uh, sounds that come out that comes, from, that comes from outside, but I'm just kind of just doing this off the cuff. So I'm guessing this is like a little art book. I'm just gonna quickly make sure there's no NSFW stuff in here. Uh, yeah, there is. There are a few. So I'm just gonna sh show a quick few pages that don't have any Nazi forward content on there so stuff like this but there's basically like there's a whole bunch of uh, official artwork and stuff on, on this uh, little art book thing so it's pretty nice to have uh, this looks like it, this is the official soundtrack um, of the original Magikoi uh, as you can see there's a whole track list here I guess I'll open it just to see what the uh, DVD looks like uh, come on. Do I need? Do I really need? Do I really need scissors for this? As you, as you can see, I'm uh, I'm really bad at at open at these at opening plastic stuff like this. Oh, I'm so smart. I'll just put it here. Yeah. Okay, so here here's the soundtrack, right? See what the CD looks like. Okay, so it's a two CD soundtrack. Uh, I mean, I guess it showed here, but it has Momoyo and Yukie with uh, an electric guitar and uh, what do they call these piano guitar things called? But I don't know. It looks cool. Uh, this is this looks like the actual game itself. Uh, Hold on, let me make sure there's no loot back here. Uh, surprisingly, no. Okay. Yeah, there's there's no uh, loot stuff here, so I'm just gonna... This is what the backside looks like. Looks like it just has a bunch of the CGs and a uh, <clears throat> little description. Yamano and his friends attend prestigious Kawakami Academy, Samurai Spirit, Unbreakable Camaraderie between Yamano and his friends, 18 plus game for adults only, strong sexual content. Yep, that's what we expect. Now I kind of want to see what the uh, the game CD looks like in here. Uh... Come on. Okay. okay. All right. So yeah, the CD art basically matches the cover. Same with this really tiny manual. Uh, so it looks like all it does is just explains how to install the game. Um, yeah, I remember the old days when we actually had manuals that were like 30 pages long and had all those art, all that artwork and instructions on there. Not anymore, but whatever. Uh, looks like I... Oh man, I'm gonna have to hide this. But uh, looks like there's a Steam key card, but it uh, looks like I can't redeem it because I... Um, like the Steam version's not even out yet, but I guess I could just try it after this video just to see if it works. But if not, oh well. Uh, 
And lastly, I think is last, yeah, is these little keychains, which I think are really nice. It has the chibi artwork, official, like the official chibi artwork from the inside the visual novel stuff of the main five girls. And I really, I really like it. This is like this uh, mini keychain thing is like one of the main reasons I got this collector's edition besides the fact that this is my favorite visual novel. So yeah, that's about it for the actual... Um, O opening uh, box off. All right, now in this part of the video, I want to do a little rant on why Majikoi is my personal number one visual novel of all time. So I actually read the original fan translation when it fully released back in early 2015. Even before that, I had read a few of the partial fan translations because of a recommendation from a friend, and the premise just looked really interesting to me. So the concept of Majikoi itself may not be entirely unique. Hell, I'm sure the writers stole the group of 8 to 10 friends hang out and do silly things concept from Little Busters. However, I think the execution of just about everything was done so well, it didn't have to be too unique. The visual novel is mostly a light-hearted slice-of-life comedy, but it also has a lot of well-done badass and funny action scenes, and some emotional feel scenes. The setting takes place in a high school that promotes a healthy fighting spirit and encourages official duels and fights between characters as a way of settling conflicts. Most of the strong members of the school are female, but there are a bunch of strong male characters as well. Many forms of media have friendship written to the plot, However, I've never seen the friendship concept done in a more subtle, yet very meaningful and heartwarming way that Magikoi did. As opposed to the crap tons of friendship speech or whatever, right from the beginning, you can tell the Cosmo family just really enjoys each other's company. Even though they bicker sometimes, in the end, they always have each other's backs, especially when actions are done as a group. The visual novel also has a few interesting themes that are very rarely explored. For example, when you already have an established group of childhood friends, how does adding in new members affect the dynamic? How far should you go to make sure the whole group is available to hang out at least one day a week? A dynamic of the main group is very balanced and everyone has a lot of great interactions with each other. Outside the main cast, there are a lot of minor characters, but the majority of them are really funny or awesome. All the main routes that deal with the main girls are all great, but even the routes that focus on the side characters are also solid. Three routes focus on the bros of the group, and each focus on their contributions to the group and have some emotional moments. Umeko, Mayo, and Chika routes aren't bad, but kind of seem more like typical romance routes that you see in many visual novels. However, the Agave route, which is basically the true route of the game, is quite possibly the best of them all. It's the most serious, and even darkest route of them, showing how an important group of events can really bring out what the main group is capable of. Logical covers a lot of genres and does an excellent job at all of them. It has excellent comedy, heartwarming slice of life and friendship stuff, entertaining action scenes, and has occasional serious feels and emotional moments. If all of these sound like something you'd enjoy in a visual novel, I heavily recommend you try out Majikoi Love Me Seriously. As said earlier, you can currently find the game on Jazz Store, with a Steam release coming sometime soon in early 2021. And that's it for this video. I'm always excited to see other fans of Majikoi, or people who become fans of Majikoi. Have you read this visual novel yet? Or do you plan on it? What are your thoughts on the series, if any? Feel free to leave a comment below. See you all in the next video.